Hi guys, so for this video I'm using yarn in three different colors and a crochet hook in size 5.5 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain two. Now right here through this uh, second chain from the hook I'll make seven similar crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now through this first single crochet chain, I'll make a slip stitch. Crochet hook is a little bit too big. So now I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. And now I'll use yarn in color B. Now right here through this first chain, I insert my hook, then I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I will chain three, then through that same loop I'll make one, then through that same chain I'll make one double crochet. I will chain two, then through this next chain I'll make two double crochet through that same chain. I will chain two, then through this next chain I'll make two double crochet through the same chain. I will chain two, then through the next chain I'll make two double crochet through the same chain. I will chain two, then through this next chain I'll make two double crochet through the same chain. I will chain two, then through this next chain I'll make two double crochet through the same chain. I need to have seven sets of these uh, two double crochets in the same chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, chain two, then through this last chain I'll make two double crochet through that same chain. I never like using these uh, crochet hooks with these big heads. They just mess up the stitches. Now, yeah, so we just make two double crochet through that same. Oh my goodness! Whew. <laughs> Chain two. Now to finish row two right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. I'll chain one and I'll cut this yarn. If you are a beginner in crochet, I would never recommend these type of crochet hooks. If you are used to them, that's a different thing, but I don't know. I, I just don't like them. So now for our final row. I will use yarn in a third color. And now, right here, through this first two chain loop, I insert my hook, and I insert my hook through a slip knot loop and pull through. Now I'll chain one, then through that same two chain loop, I'll make a, I'll chain four. And now that I've uh, chained four, right here through the same two chain loop, I'll make four triple crochet cluster. So one, two, three, four, and now I'll chain four again. Then through the same two chain loop, I'll make a slip stitch. Now through this next two chain loop I'll make a slip stitch and then again I'll chain four then, then through the same loop I'll make four triple crochet cluster. I'll chain four then through the same loop I'll make a slip stitch. 
through his next two chain loop I'll make a slip stitch then I'll chain four through that same two chain loop I'll make four triple crochet cluster I'll chain four then through that same loop I'll make a slip stitch through this next two chain loop I'll make a slip stitch again I'll chain four then through that same loop I'll make four triple crochet cluster I'll chain four then through that same loop I'll make a slip stitch so I'll repeat this throughout row 3 so now to finish row 3 right here through this next 2 chain loop I'll make a slip stitch now I'll chain 1 and I'll cut this yarn so this is how our finished flower looks So this is how our finished flower looks. Let me measure it. So it's around four and a half inches. So this is all for today guys. I hope you like this video and thank you so much for watching.